Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this demonstration of the Emission Reduction Credit, or ERC, Generation General Workbook. In this video, we are going over the regulations sheet. This sheet will focus on the state and federal regulations that are applicable to each facility and how the owner or operator of the site generating ERCs either have met the regulatory requirements or are exempt from them. So far, every other sheet, besides the cover sheet, has impacted other parts of the workbook. However, any inputs on the regulations sheet, along with the final sheet, representative site analysis, will not cause any changes to other sheets within the workbook. Regulations that need to be included are any regulations that are listed in a site's air permit that are relevant to the facilities generating ERCs, any regulations that a site claims for their emissions authorization such as the regulations for a non-registered permit by rule, any applicable regulations that are listed for a site's industry type found on the TCEQ AIR NSR permits webpage. The link to this webpage is provided on line 9 of this sheet. And any regulations that a company is aware of that each facility must comply with. This includes, but is not limited to, regulations under the following state and federal rules. 30 Texas Administrative Code Chapters 101, 115, and 117, and 40 Code of Federal Regulations Parts 60, 61, and 63. Beginning on row 30, we will select a rule chapter from the drop down in column A. We'll select Chapter 117, then select a corresponding subsection in column B which changes depending on the previous rule chapter selection. We'll choose Subchapter D, Division 1. The workbook is designed to only have the potentially applicable rule chapters available in the dropdowns, as well as having the subsection dropdown tailor to only display the relevant subchapters or subparts, depending on the rule chapter chosen. Next, we'll enter the appropriate citation number in column C. Let's enter 117, 2010, C1A. If you have multiple citations under the same rule and subsection for a FIN and EPN combination, you may combine them into the citation cell. Let's add 117 2035 just to see how that will look. After that, select the applicable FIN and EPN from the dropdown. We'll select FIN and EPN 555. Lastly, in column E, enter an explanation of how the FIN and EPN complies with or is exempt from the citation entered. If multiple citations were listed, provide an explanation for each one. An example table in rows 26 and 27 above includes types of explanations that could be provided. You will repeat these steps to account for every applicable regulation and FIN and EPN combination.